"'Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mama in her kerchief and I in my hat had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the windows I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. <laughs> The moon on the breast of the new falling snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. The dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the rooftop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard of his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke and encircled his head like a reed. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Ho, ho, ho. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. I laughed as I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of an eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work. Then filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk and laying his finger upside his nose and giving a nod at the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.